Welcome to Broward College Nuclear Medicine's Virtual Information Session. Nuclear medicine is a specialized area of radiology that uses very small amounts of radioactive materials or radiopharmaceuticals to examine organ functions and structure. Nuclear medicine imaging is a combination of many different disciplines. These include chemistry, physics, mathematics, computer technology, and medicine. This branch of radiology is often used to help diagnose and treat abnormalities very early in the prognosis of a disease, such as thyroid cancer. The difference between nuclear medicine and radiology is the source of radiation. In radiography, the source of radiation comes from the x-ray machine where in nuclear medicine, the patient is injected with a radionuclide, making the patient the source of radiation. Because x-ray passes through soft tissue, such as intestine, muscle, and blood vessels, these tissues are difficult to visualize on a standard x-ray, unless a contrast agent is used. This allows the tissue to be seen more clearly. Nuclear medicine imaging enables visualization of organ and tissue structure as well as function, the extent to which the radiopharmaceutical is absorbed or taken up by a particular organ or tissue may indicate the level of function of the organ or tissue being studied. Thus, diagnostic x-ray are used primarily to study anatomy. Nuclear medicine imaging is used to study organ and tissue function. The JRCNMT, the Joint Review Committee on Education in Nuclear Medicine Technology, is the accrediting body that provides the standard of academic and clinical education for Broward College nuclear medicine program. The JRCNMT strives to work together with the program to achieve a mutual goal of excellence in education. Through the process of programmatic accreditation, educators are assured that their educational programs are kept in pace with the profession and with standards developed through national census. The NMTCB is recognized in nuclear medicine profession as the primary examination for nuclear medicine technologists. It is recognized by state licensure agencies through the United States. It is recognized by employers as a valid high quality certification exam and allows you to use the professional credential of CNMT to identify you as a certified nuclear medicine technologist. The ARRT, which is the American Registry of Radiological Technologists, is a leading credential organization that recognizes qualified individuals in medical imaging, interventional procedures, and nuclear medicine. They offer certifications and registration in a wide range of disciplines, helping people who work in medical imaging and nuclear medicine to develop their careers. The registry provides the national testing and credentialing service that many states require for medical imaging professionals to practice. Students in the associate degree program will complete both national board examinations, enabling them to work in clinical settings. As the aging population may lead to the need for nuclear medicine technologists who can provide imaging to patients with certain medical conditions, such as heart disease or treatment for cancers and other diseases. In addition, technological advancement may increase the types of imaging and treatment that nuclear medicine technologists provide, leading to increased demand for their services. Most nuclear medicine technologists work in hospitals. Some work in physicians' offices, diagnostic laboratories, or imaging clinics. Most nuclear medicine technologists work full-time, part-time, or per diem. About 
1,500 openings for nuclear medicine technologists are pro projected each year on average over the decade. Many of those openings are expected to result from the need to replace workers who transfer to different occupations or exit the labor force, such as to retire. This slide demonstrates the credentialing examination pass rate, the number of Broward College nuclear medicine program graduates who passed on the first attempt. The American, the American Registry of Radiological Technologists, the ART, and for the Nuclear Medicine Technology Certification Board exam, which is the NMTCB. Nuclear medicine technologists must have knowledge of radiation safety and protection and be able to measure, prepare, and administer diagnostic and therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals. They provide services with compassion and respect for the dignity of the individuals with the intent to provide the optimal quality of patient care while maintaining the highest ethical standards as integral members of the healthcare team. The application process starts in January and ends in June. Students would be required to apply to Broward College and then select their desired health science program. Upon completion of that, they will go into and um, complete a health science limit, limited access application where they would enter the program code of 2102 for nuclear medicine. All applicants will be reviewed based on published admissions selection criteria and not in the order which they were received by the Health Science Admissions Office. Please note that prerequisite courses in progress after the application deadline will not be awarded points. The minimum required GPA is a 2.5 in the courses below and an overall GPA of 2.5 would be required. For the selection process, a point system based on the degree required general education courses is utilized to rank applicants for admission into the Broward College Nuclear Medicine Program. Acceptance depends on where the student falls in the point ranking system, with the top ranking students being accepted. Specifics regarding applying to the program are available on the Health Science Admissions page. The points awarded, acceptance depends on where the student falls in the point ranking system with the top ranking students being accepted. Specifics regarding that can be found on the health science admissions page. So points will be awarded for each course successfully completed regardless of the number of credits. In the event that there is a tiebreaker, based on the strength of the pool, the tiebreaker points will be awarded for the overall GPA in courses completed towards the degree at Broward College or courses that transferred in the equivalents. What happens after I apply? The admissions department evaluates all applications and renders its decision via student Broward College email. The admissions department will begin sending out student notification towards the end of June. It is advised that students check their Broward College email for admissions notification of program acceptance. Once accepted to the Broward College program, um, nuclear medicine program, students will receive a letter with their student ID and students will utilize that student ID number to log into their Broward student account. To monitor the transcript evaluation and their limited access application, students must also monitor their student email account as there will be information to, uh, from the admissions department that will communicate um, the student's 
but that will communicate with the students regarding their application status and program acceptance. The admissions and selections process is managed through the health science admissions department. From there, they will contact you and let you know when you would be able to go to the pre-admissions orientation, which will inform you of the proper documentation required prior to entering the program. Complio. American database Complio system streamlines the compliance process by equipping students with a single reportable HIPAA compliant system that accommodates their screening requirements. This can include anything from court searches, drug screening, FBI fingerprinting, and employment or education verifications to health screening and health records. Complio organizes, tracks, communicates, and shares clinical requirements and information from one platform. It provides hospitals and clinical sites the tools to update requirements systematically with students. Trajexis is a report system provided that provides a centralized clinical record keeping that tracks students' reports through a fully integrated online clinical management system. This system allows the students to clock in and clock out their clinical sites and track observations, performance, and evaluations on clinical procedures. This slide captures the first year of the AS degree curriculum. Please note that due to the demands Due to the demands, most students have completed their prerequisites to ensure that most points for placement into the program. Students entering the program find that the first year is spent taking the nuclear medicine courses. The second year of the AS degree program courses are concentrated in nuclear medicine material and procedures. Students who are successful will graduate at the end of June of their second year. This slide demonstrates the approximate cost of the tuition, the American Data Bank, um, Complio, Trajexis, course textbooks, and licensing and application fee for the National Registry Board examination taken upon graduation. There are additional costs related to the health science program, which include, but are not limited to, the cost of physical examinations, immunizations, liability insurance, uniform purchases, travel to clinical sites, and miscellaneous items needed for the classroom or clinical setting. Carnegie Unit was accepted as the standard measure of classroom time. The United States Department of Education defines the credit hour as one hour of classroom or direct faculty instruction and a minimum of two hours of out of classroom um, student work each, each week. Using this as a baseline, we can easily see that the following semesters become more taxing on students' free time. The first year fall term is um, represents the approximate time spent in class and the minimum recommended study time. This is the first year spring term and this slide represents the approximate time spent in class and the minimum recommended study time. This is the first year summer term. This slide represents the approximate time spent in class and the minimum recommended study time. This is the second year fall term. The slide represents the approximate time spent in class and the minimum recommended study time. The second year spring term, this slide represents the approximate time spent in class and the minimum recommended study time. Second year summer term, this slide represents the approximate time spent in class and the minimum um, recommended study time.
The nuclear medicine didactic and library course, uh, laboratory courses are taught on the North Campus um, located in Coconut Creek Building 41 in rooms 151 and 206. The first year didactic courses and labs are offered on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Second year didactic courses are offered on Thursday and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 2.30. Nuclear medicine clinical courses are conducted at hospitals within Broward, Dade, and Palm Beach counties. All clinical courses for the first year are held on Thursdays and Fridays between the hours of 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All clinical courses for the second year are held on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday between the hours of 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Please note the following contact information for the Health Science Admissions Office, for the Health Science Advising Department, and the Nuclear Medicine Program. Students should continue to check into the Health Science and Nuclear Medicine Program website for any changes in program structure and other important news and resources. It provides a permanent, easily findable archive of the most important information about the program. Thank you for attending the Nuclear Medicine Information Session. Should you have any further questions regarding the Broward College Nuclear Medicine Program, admissions or advisement, please check the website or email the prospective departments.